In this video, we'll quickly go over how to convert between standard notation and scientific notation. On the column on the left here, I have the numbers in standard notation, and the columns on the right, I have the numbers in scientific notation. So we'll start by converting the numbers in standard notation to scientific notation. So the first thing that we have to do is see how many times we have to move the decimal point. So there's a decimal point right here, and we want to move the decimal point so it's between the first two numbers, the five and the four. Let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So this would be 5.4 times 10 to the positive six. Positive six because this number is a large number. Large numbers will have a positive exponent and small numbers have a, a negative exponent. Or you could just think large num numbers that are larger than one will have a positive exponent. Numbers less than one will have a negative exponent. So the, for, for this next one, our goal is to move the decimal point so it's between the first two non-zero number, the two and the one. So that'll be one, two, three, four times. So then this will be 2.16 times 10 to the negative four. This time is negative four because we moved it to the right and also this number is less than one. So that's why the, it'll have a negative exponent. This one, 3.01. Well, in this case, the, the decimal point is already between um, the first two numbers. So this would just stay as 3.01 times 10 to the 0 because we don't have to move any decimal points. And a three, 10 to the 0 is essentially just 1. So this is the same 3.01 times 1. This next one, should we have a positive x negative exponent in the end? Well, this number is less than 1, so we would expect the, the exponent to be negative, such as the case here. And we have to move it over 1, 2, 3 times. So this is 6.71 times 10 to the negative 3. How about this This next one? Is this number greater than 1 or less than 1? Well, it's, it's a lot bigger than 1. So then we expect this to be a positive exponent. And we want to move the decimal point from here to, to here. And there's, there's commas here, so this would this would be three times, and then that'll be six times. Or if you count it out, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this would just be 1.0 times 10 to the sixth power. Now moving on to turning scientific notation into standard notation. Since this has a positive exponent, that means we know that the number should be greater than one. So we'll move this over four times. Let's just write 2.30 and we'll move, move it four, over four times to the right. One, two, three, four. So then we're going to add two zeros there. And this just becomes 23000 zero, 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 or 23,000. This next one, we have a negative, next, negative exponent. So that means the final answer will be less than one. And we're going to move our decimal point to the left this time, not to the right. 8.65. Then just move this decimal point one over to the left. So then that becomes 0 0.865. You can see this final number is less than one. Next one, we have a positive exponent. So we expect the final answer to be greater than one. And we're going to move it over to the right three times because we want to make it bigger. So we'll go one, two, and then three. So then we just add another zero right here. And this becomes 9,110. Next one, we have a situation where it's 10 to the 0. Whenever it's just 10 to the 0, that's just 1. So this will just be 1.76 times 1, which is just going to be 1.76. And then last one, we have a negative exponent. So this is this final answer is going to be less than 1. And so we're going to move the decimal point to the left five times. Starting with 7.4, move it to the left. Let's give it a little bit more space. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, and five. So that's where the final decimal point is. Let's fill in the zero. So it can be a zero here, a here, here, here. And then if there's then we have to put the zero in the very beginning. So that's going to be the final answer, 0 0.00074. So you can see this number is definitely less than one. And that's how you do scientific notation problems. Main thing to remember if your exponent is positive, then that means the number is greater than one, so a larger number. And if the exponent is negative, then that means that the number is less than one. It's a smaller number. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry, if you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, 
then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Acing Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you, and you're going you're gonna to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.